So let's be real, Stabe on the A7C kinda sucks, actually it really sucks because there basically is none. Doesn't compare at all to the Sony A7S III, but don't worry because this software called Catalyst Browse is gonna fix that. But first of all, let me show you some side-by-side -side clips with and without Catalyst Browse. difference and actually it's really easy to do all you got to do is download the app the link is in the description on your pc or mac or whatever and then you just open that up once you do you'll see your sony files and then after that you're going to go down to the little icon at the bottom left that says stabilize after you've opened the clip that you want to stabilize then it's going to do that it's not going to take long after it stabilizes then you can manually set it to what you want for stabilization or you can just leave it on the auto setting. Now, I will warn you, when you export it, it does take a while. It kind of sucks, but it is so worth it. Like, look right now, I'm seeing no shake, probably. But without it, it would be probably pretty shaky. So in my Sony a7C longer review, which you could go check out in the top right hand corner, I did say this. I just like the way a gimbal works better. I like the shots I can get, the movement. It's just more my style, so I haven't even bothered with it. And I actually take that back now because there's times where I don't have my gimbal simply because either I forgot it or I didn't want to bring it because maybe I was just vlogging or maybe I just didn't want to bring it for whatever reason. In those times, your footage is really going to suck and nobody wants to watch shaky video because that just it just doesn't look good. But this software easily fixes that if you're willing to put in the time to actually fix it. So I'll be the first to admit, I'm really impressed. A lot of people give it crap. And yeah, sometimes it can mess with the colors, maybe with HLG and stuff. But I mean, it's kind of easy to fix really. And plus it saves you a lot of weight if you didn't want to carry around your gimbal and a lot of time during the shoot. Maybe not in post, but sometimes you need that time during the shoot and that's what's more valuable. Not all the time, but there are plenty of times where I would rather save time during a shoot than in post. And all right guys, that is it for this video. And if it did help you out a little bit, be sure to subscribe. And guys, I really do appreciate all the support that I've been getting on the channel lately. We're almost at 1K and I, all I can say is thank you guys so much. I really, really appreciate the ones who have been sticking around watching my tutorials and especially my more like creative style videos. It means a lot guys, thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one.